Hi guys! So I've had a lot of requests to make caramel squares and they are my all time favourite tray break. So today we're going to make them. Now they're a little bit more complicated insofar as there's three different steps. First you make the shortbread, then you make the caramel and lastly you melt chocolate for the top. Um, you can buy tins of caramel but please don't, it's much nicer when you make your own and I'm going to show you how to do it today. So let's get started. 330 grams of plain flour, 220 grams of soft margarine, 110 grams of caster sugar, 220 grams of butter, 110 grams of light brown sugar, 1 tin of condensed milk, 2 tablespoons of golden syrup, 400 grams of chocolate. Okay, so to make the shortbread, I use a food processor. If you don't have one, that's okay. You can do it by hand or using an electric whisk. Um, and if you if you are doing it like that, you beat the sugar and the butter, or soft margarine, what I'm using, together first. And then you add in the flour and you mix that in by hand um, until it kind of forms a sort of a dough. But I'm gonna do it using the food processor today. and um, It's just a quicker method. So we need to preheat the oven to 170 degrees. Okay, so this is our mixture. I'm gonna take it off this. I'm gonna take all of this out and kind of mix it together with my hands and flatten it onto the baking tray. The baking tray is lined. If you don't have parchment paper, make sure and spread a good bit of butter on the bottom of it so they don't stick. As you can see, I use my fingers and my wrist to, to get it down as smooth as I can. It's now going to go into the oven for 15 minutes at 170 degrees. Okay, so while the shortbread is cooking away in the oven, I'm going to start in the caramel. There's still another five, maybe eight minutes left on the shortbread, but I'm going to start in the caramel because it takes about 20 minutes. Okay, first thing I need to do is melt the butter. So pop in the butter and put it on a medium heat. Okay, so you can see the butter is now melted. So next I'm going to add the light brown sugar, the condensed milk, and two tablespoons of golden syrup. So I'm constantly stirring this for 20 minutes. If you have somebody else in the house, it's really helpful to share the load. I sometimes put on a little Netflix show while I'm um, doing it to pass the time. But the shortbread is ready to come out of the oven, so I'm gonna just pop that off the heat for a second so it doesn't burn. Now, I actually left them in for just over 20 minutes, it's depending on your oven um, as to how long it will take. Okay, so have a look there. Nice and golden. They'll feel a little bit soft to touch, but we're gonna let them cool now for about 10 minutes while I'm still making the caramel. So the caramel is just about done. I'm going to turn off the heat. It should be a lovely golden colour. It should be nice and thick, but yet still nice um, and spreadable. I'm going to pour it over my shortbread, which has cooled slightly. It's still a little bit warm, and it, but it's a good bit harder. So caramel hardens quite quickly. So that's why you have to pour it evenly around the whole thing. You can't really be spreading it with a knife at the end too much. We're just gonna leave that to cool and, and leave the caramel to harden. And then we'll come back and pour the melted chocolate on top. Okay guys, so it's been about 10 minutes since I took the car poured the caramel on top. I've just been melting chocolate. I melted this in the microwave. And mixture of dark and milk chocolate and then I'm going to spread it on top of the caramel so if you want to look the way you know it's ready is you just touch it lightly with your finger and it doesn't make a dent or nothing sticky st stays on your finger. 
again, pour the chocolate really evenly across the surface. Now, I have loads of chocolate there, and as you can see, it glides really well across the caramel and gives it a lovely glossy um, cover to it. So now you just have to let them sit. I don't put them in the fridge because I don't want the chocolate to discolour in any way. So I'm just going to leave them maybe in a cool place um, for a couple of hours and then we'll taste them. Okay, so it's been three hours. Now remember I didn't put these in the fridge. Um, I left them out because I didn't want the, sometimes the fridge can discolour the top of them a little bit. So it's very, very heavy. You'll know that from, from the caramel. So we're going to cut them up and do a taste test. Okay, so you can see the three layers clearly defined. The shortbread biscuit, the caramel, and the chocolate on top. I'm going to do a taste test. Now remember, this batch made 54 caramel squares, so it makes a huge amount. Delicious. Biscuit really crunchy, caramel so gooey and delicious and the chocolate perfect. Give these a go and enjoy.